Hi everybody, it's me Trudy. I just wanted to come on here real quick and uh, go ahead and show you guys this beautiful December daily that I have created. This is my um, my book that I am calling it my Documenting December. It's the same thing as December daily, you guys. I just think that um, I don't have little kids and I don't know, I kind of get the, the idea that the December daily is documenting all the things that your kids do and all that kind of stuff. But in my life, it's a little different. Um, not to say that it's a sad situation at all. I do have nine little grandkids and so I am super busy during the holidays with them. Uh, they have their school plays and you know the school performances and things like that. Um, we have a couple birthdays to include mine and my birthday is December 19th which is really kind of cool because we've created uh, a sort of a holiday tradition that we do uh, all our Christmas baking on that day. So my kids organize some sort of a Christmas dinner or a birthday dinner and they come over to my house or I've gone over to their house. But now that um, I have my own house, I used to just have, you know, an apartment or, you know, I lived in a duplex and and I, I really didn't have a lot of room. But now that I have the house, it's kind of nice because they did come over last year. That's my goal is that we can make that tradition to be at my home because if they don't come during the holidays, it's kind of like they didn't see my house for Christmas, which is kind of sad. But I still will decorate. I have two little fur babies and they're my Christmas little angels. And I will decorate for them. My son comes over and he does decorate my house or he did last year. Helps me with that. So there's, a, you know, and then I get my grandkids, you know, on the weekends and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have created. So this is a little tassel. This is my first December daily that I've ever created, you guys. I've wanted to do this a long time, and thanks to dear Julie Julie, and you know her inspiration for doing junk journals and all the ideas that she has, I've really incorporated a lot of things that I've learned from her. I pretty much binge watched all her videos. Also, I love Gail Agostinelli, and also I'm a cool mom. I really like their style. I like that um, kind of like not nothing has to be perfect kind of style. I like that. I think that that shows character. Um, it doesn't have to be true line, you know, even and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you just put your own creativity inside of it and it's voila, it's a beautiful creation. So thanks to them. I want to give a big shout out to them because they really inspired me to do this so this is a book i got from um uh dollar tree i did not buy anything you guys this is basically everything that i've had in my stash i did not buy anything i have paper pads i have all the doodads all these trims i have i have stuff and so I just decided to one, you know, few, a weekend and I just, I did it, you know, and I, I just, I had, it was one of those things I kept procrastinating and I said, no more, I'm going to do this. So I don't know what paper collection I used. I actually used a lot of different ones, so I can't even tell you. Um, these are those Project Life cards. I, I stitched them and then... I went ahead and put this uh, on there. I punched that out using, you know, my punches and and that. And then this is from this paper collection, which it has the gold on there. And this is some old um, brick rack, vintage brick rack that I had in my stash for years and years. You know, I've just had this sitting around. And so I put that there because there was a line there and I wanted to cover that. So we open it up, and I hope I'm in frame, you guys. Um, I can't really see. I'm, I'm doing this with my iPhone. So we open it up, and we have, it says Christmas memories. I did put lace in the inside, so it kind of finishes it off. I put some, 
you know, I had some of these little um, stickers I got from Dollar Tree. Here I stitched a little vintage uh, lace that I had. I thought it looked cute. And then I always, I always um, just, when I always have like, um, you know, just some not in, really inexpensive uh, Christmas cards in case somebody comes over and I want to send them home with some um, goodies and I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll put that um, a Christmas card in there. Also, you know, I, I really generally I don't make Christmas cards for co-workers. Um, some, you know, I have a few friends that I do, but you know, if I want to give a lot out, I don't make them. I just purchase them and then, you know, send them Christmas wish that way. But here I did, I, these are some extra cards that I've had throughout the years. I put a few of them in there and I stitched this. This looks like holly leaves to me and I put that. This one says, okay, and so I did number them. So this looks like an eye, but actually it is a one and it just has a hole there. And I don't like that. It does look like an eye. So it's a one. It says, happy as being with the family on Christmas Day. These are all those Project Life little cards. I've had those in my stash. This is from, a, what I did is I, I went ahead and used some paper from a, a composition book. Here's a little um, Christmas tree that I punched out. Here's a number two. I did stitch some um, lace that I had. Here's a, a tea dyed piece of paper, some old ephemera I've had. Number three. Then I stitched some of this trim on there. I, this was a card, part of a card that I made. I had pieces left over. I just stuck it in there. I figure I could journal on it if it's a cold day or something. I don't know. Then I have um, this these little blings. It's high collie. And then the uh, elf on the shelf shows up about the fourth. So I put this little costume that I had, this little elf costume. And I'm going to write all about it. Hopefully I can have one of the kids. I have... I have uh, older grandkids and then I have some younger ones. I have five little ones that are three and under. So it's 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 a fun time. And then in here, here's an envelope that I stitched on there that you pull out. And then what I have here is, if I could get this out, these are just a little card that I put on here. Um, and then a little tuck spot here. There's some old um, ledger paper I had, some more little cutouts that I did, some of this, um, these Project Life cards, little, um, I don't know, cluster that I did, number six there, some stamping that I had, um, doily I put in here, little Christmas, the, those things I got from like Dollar Tree probably a few years back. There's some more stitching, and this looks kind of cool because it's like, um, snowflakes number seven here's a little this is really old 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 um vintage uh trim little things that i had in my stash some ephemera um eight and i just put, stitched some you know lace on some of the pages here's nine there's three signatures in here i did the pamphlet stitch Hot, happy Holidays, that's a little tag I got at Dollar Tree. And then this one is another card um, that I had extra. And then I put some recipe cards in here. So I'm going to try to put new recipes like every year, you know, something that I tried every year. Usually I try to make a new recipe if I'm baking or something like that. But I thought this little card looked great with this background paper. Then this one here is kind of 10. It's kind of busy day here, it looks like. Um, this one, little cards that I had, sugar and spice and everything's nice. Have a Merry Christmas, another little tag, the number. Uh, more ledger, this is some old vintage uh, wrapping paper I had with children for 11. Lots of places, It's a lot. I wanted lots of empty places so that I could put lots of pictures. I'm gonna pick, take pictures of my dog, take pictures of, you know, we. I live in a uh, area now and there's beautiful, beautiful trees. Um, they're uh, 
pecan trees. They have a pecan um, factory out here, and the the that area looks beautiful. So my plan is I've been get, dabbling in photography, so I want to make sure I take some pictures of that. This is an old like tag I've had that I made for something. I never used it. I stuck that in there. Here's a little bingo card, season's greeting, another one of those little uh, snowmen that I used in a Christmas card I made several years ago. Some little trim that I put on. I just had fun. I just did whatever I felt like doing, and I just had fun with this. Um, these are little Dollar Tree, uh, little, I'm not sure if they're Dollar Tree or if I got them at Michael's, you know, the little packs that they have. So little stickers I had, some more of these little Project Life cards, and they're really, I don't think they're Project Life cards, they were just Christmas ones. Here's 15, here's a Santa, a little, um, shoot, what is a penguin? Back of that, another, I just, you know, I just put a little trim here, little, little um, ribbon there. I did a couple of these pages are tea dyed. I want to throw those in. And here's a little cluster of some lace, some vintage lace that I had. Did some stamping to make me smile. Lots of journaling, lots of areas to journal. This right here is an old, um, it was a stocking. You know, you just put like a little gift card or something. I tore it apart. I glued it around right here. And then I can just stuck this in there for little pockets to journal. And I thought that looked cute. So this is my birthday, and I had these little um, cookie cookies, you know, shapes of cookies. So I figure those are cute to journal, you know, the cookie day. It's my birthday. It says right there, you know, the kids come over. We do, you know, we watch movie Christmas movies and just have fun. Um, so that's that day. Lots of room for that day because I'm going to document everything that I do. And then here's a little pocket. I could put whatever I want um, in there. There's a little, I sewed this little piece of fabric, put some like um, stitches that look like uh, snowflakes, a little, these are little like memos that I had in my stash, you guys, and just stuck that in there. There's that, the 21st. Um, boy, is it going to storm. It's been storming a lot. We get monsoon weather here, you guys. And usually the electricity goes out or, I don't know, it gets kind of crazy. But it's very loud. Monsoon season is is fully enforced right now. Um, here's another one of those paper, vintage wrapping paper. And I just used my little scissors and cut the side. The 22nd. Another little corner tuck spot here. I just cut this. This was from the wrapping of the paper that I chose, and it's kind of cardboard. Um, that's the 23rd. Little tuck spot here. I figure I could put cards, or a lot of people send you those pictures, you know. I could put pictures of people that send me pictures and cards. I just, just taped that on, on the edge of that. Um, just journaling some washi right there and here's the 25th and usually I go to one of my kids somebody always hosts like Christmas Day um, at their house um, some I usually uh, what I've been doing is going to one of their houses on Christmas Eve and um, and then on Christmas Day somebody hosts uh, Christmas day dinner and that and we usually just have potluck or something I kind of I I kind of um I don't know I I kind of chose Thanksgiving I like Thanksgiving I think that brings in the holiday spirit and kind of you know gives you that, that well, Christmas is coming and you know, I really focus on Thanksgiving, you know, the being thankful and grateful. I have so much to be thankful for, and that's my way of, you know, showing all my family how grateful I am. Um, so I did the pamphlet stitch, and then what I did is just put this um, trim, this, I don't know what they call this, 
I think it's rosette, but I'm not real sure. And then again on the back, and then I have some trim there. Um, yeah, so I love it. I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys love it. Um, let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys for watching my, my videos. I haven't been on here in an awful long time. In fact, I told you guys in my garden one. And um, I apologize for the, for the quality of my videos, you guys. I'm really working to try to make these the best I can and to be more consistent. I am working on another... Um, I'm working on another December daily, actually, for my my uh, daughter-in-law. So I'm using the little golden books, and this is what I've done so far. This was from the fabric, but uh, this is the fabric. I put a little eyelet here, and I'm gonna. I I'm already sewing the pages for that one. I'm gonna use ribbon to back to close that one. But I'm already sewing the pages for that one. And that one's going to have three signatures as well. So there's the pages that, you know, I've done. I put that lace. I little bit of, you know, little pockets and stuff. And so that will go in there. And it'll look really cute. So that's another one that I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm having fun. So, thank you so much, Julie, Julie, dear Julie, Julie. I was excited because um, I, normally I work and she has a lot of, like, live streaming. And I love watching her because she's got, like, while she's doing these videos, she's, like, creating. And I think that's so cool. Like, she just, on a whim, you know, she was like, let's put this here and let's put that there. And I think that's cool. So, I, I really, I really enjoyed, um seeing a live stream with her one night and was able to kind of chit chat and some other ladies too. So, um, you know, I want to sit here and promise to do all these videos, but with my schedule, you guys, um, I, I really don't want to do that because I've done that before and I haven't been consistent. So just put that little bell on and when I do a video you guys can see it I want to do some vlogs um I am going to you know I have lots of ideas you guys and um I just I just don't have a lot of time I'm still in school so you know getting that getting that degree I'm, I've got my plan so I'll sit and talk with you guys sometime and just kind of fill you in on everything that's going on but I'm really doing great life is good um and i'm just enjoying my life and being ambitious and trying to get things done and and all that kind of stuff just like everybody else all right well i love you guys thanks a lot for watching my videos and please subscribe and send your friends i want to you know i would love to see that i've been on here since 2009 I'd like to see this channel grow but you know it takes consistency and work not for any other reason but just so that uh, you know I want to share information and um, you know I'm getting that degree in psychology so hopefully you know with a little bit of wisdom and my education I can help other women you know that go through a lot of struggles that's my goal anyways so with that being said I love you guys um, have a wonderful day weekend or week um i don't go to work till wednesday tomorrow's tuesday tonight's monday but you guys have a great um night love you bye